think both of them are making good progress. Uh, they're not where we need them to be just yet, but I think both of them are working hard and giving us good progress. And hopefully by uh, game one, one of them or somebody else will surface the uh, Different guys that are kind of filling in. You know, I think we have some good talent in some positions. Really, we need to find guys to be able to execute and play good at all 11 positions and we're working to get that done. So we're not a first product by any means, but I do like where we're headed. So Fangio is going to surprise some people here because he's going to say he's not really confident and satisfied with the players he has in camp right now. Check this out. What has been your impression when you see the players on the field of the talent that you have on defense? Uh, we have some really good talent at some places. Um, at some places. You know, in other places, we've got to find the talent. So right now, he's already made his assessment. They had OTAs. Now they've had mandatory minicamp. And he's already made his assessment and went, hey, man, I got to go out and get some more players. This isn't going to be what I need to, to be successful. Vic Fangio just said, I'm not done yet. I got to go find some guys. Th th these guys ain't it. So I think it's a good mix right now. Our good players have got to play really good for us to be good. And we got to find the other guys to fill in that play good in spite of their lack of playing time and experience. So where is he going to get these guys? Those clips from my archives are of Vic Fangio speaking during OTAs and during training camp. And here we are months later, four games into the season, and he's still whining about not having the personnel to run his defense. And he has a lot of fans out there on Twitter and elsewhere trying to keep him in the guru-dom and make him seem like he's going to be doing something special for the Miami Dolphins defense sometime soon. Give him time. It's only one game. Obviously, when you set the table with excuses months in advance, it's easy to say, I, I told you so, I don't have the guys. These players suck. Don't blame me. Dude, this is the NFL. At some point, people are going to be justified in their thinking that you took the defensive coordinator position with the Miami Dolphins to build your retirement nest egg before you get out of the league. Let's face it, the Miami Dolphins defense isn't good. The Miami Dolphins defense can't tackle. And they picked the Buffalo Bills to have their worst tackling performance of the season. Unfortunately, in today's NFL, there's no easy solution to this. People hardly tackle anymore, even in practice. It's just the way the NFL is now. People don't hit. That's quite the dilemma. So what do you do? Well, Vic Fangio, this is on you. This is what you get paid the big bucks for. And likewise, Fangio is going to have to answer the, to the continuing question that I and other people have brought up, being why did you leave Cater Kohu on an island out there with Stefan Diggs all game long? Xavier Howard has had his penalty problems, and he's had some injuries, but couldn't he have made a difference? Why didn't you even try? Even if Fangio went into the game, that his scheme against the Buffalo Bills was that Cater Kohu would cover Stephon Diggs all game long, why not call an audible and say, this isn't working, I need to change up and possibly put Xavier Howard over here? Fangio could have given him some help. He chose not to. And the pressure on the secondary didn't ease up all game long because the big guys up front got no production either. The Buffalo Bills were allowed to run up the middle with complete impunity. It wasn't until late in the first half that Zach Sealer even got on the board with a tackle and was the only notable play by a defensive lineman up to that point. Christian Wilkins, who's got his hand out looking for the big payday, looking for that big bag, didn't even register on the stat sheet for the first three quarters. Yes, I understand that Christian Wilkins is a defensive tackle, but his hallmark to fame thus far in his career is that he's been a run stopper. In my latest live broadcast, I had a question from one of the viewers regarding Vic Fangio and the Miami Dolphins defense. Check out my response right here. I am sick and tired and disgusted over a coach who complains, I don't got the personnel. Man, if you don't have the personnel, number one, whose fault is that? You got hired in March or April. If you don't have the personnel, I'm sure there are probably 31 other teams who wish they had different personnel. I don't see them putting out press 
conferences and, and, and telling everybody, you know, I don't really know how this is going to work this year because, you know, I don't have the personnel. I don't want to hear that. I, I don't want to hear that type of, are you telling me or telling all of us that the only way your defense works, the only way your defense works is if you have an all-star team playing defense. That's to me, idiotic. That to me is just completely beyond the pale. I don't have the personnel. You think the Carolina Panthers are going to say they don't have the personnel? You think the New York Giants, who they're playing next week, are going to say, yeah, we could probably beat the Dolphins, but yeah, we just don't have the personnel? Or are they just going to do the best with what they have and work towards the future and see what happens? I am sick and tired of Vic Fangio complaining about not having the personnel. Here, and here's why. When Vic Fangio signed that contract and decided to come to Miami, I'm sure during that period of time that they were courting him, he looked at the roster. He looked at some film. Who can I have do this? Who can I have do that? Guys, I need Jalen Ramsey. You need to go out and spend a shitload of money. Bring Jalen Ramsey. Okay, Chris Greer goes and gets Jalen Ramsey. What do you need next? Um, linebacker suck. I need David Long. All right, we're going to get you David Long. And he brought in, brought in David Long. And... Uh, when you draft, I want you to draft this kid, Cam Smith, because I think he'll be good in a year or two. He's not going to be something that, someone who can play right now, but bring him in. Okay, we'll draft Cam Smith. You had input. You knew where you were before you signed the contract. You understood where you were the day you went to the first OTA meeting. I mean, uh, practice. There's no surprises. You are, you have what you had when you got signed in addition to the additions that you brought on. But complaining that you don't have the people is a cop-out. It's an absolute cop-out. I, I, I can't say it any better than that. I see people on Twitter going, oh, give Fangio a chance. What chance? We're four games in. We're a quarter away into the season. If you think much is going to change without there being some big trade or Jalen Ramsey coming in and feeling better and being able to participate. There's nothing that's going to change. This is the scheme. This is what he runs. He's making excuses. Oh yeah. They were three and out. Things were looking good. And I remember I posted and people got pissed at me and I said, ah, you, you played against a bunch of scrub teams. You played against the chargers who were crap. You played against the Patriots who were crap. And, and, and you, you, everything was fine. You were 3-0. and oh. The Broncos, oh, you did great. And then you run up against a team that's got something, and you got embarrassed, absolutely embarrassed. And then you left Cater Kohu, who is not the best cornerback in the world, but you left him out on an island all game long. You didn't flip Xavier Howard on to Diggs. You left that kid out there to dry. Why? Did anyone at the press conference ask him, hey, 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 Vic, why didn't you put Xavier Howard on Stefan Diggs? Of course not. They don't ask those kind of questions. But why? What was your adjustment? We all watched the game. What did you do different at halftime? <laughs> hey, man, we got to go in the, uh, in, into the locker room. We got to figure out what we can do, make our halftime adjustments. All right, so Cater, we're not going to make any with you. We're going to keep you out there all by yourself. Okay, I'll do my best. You sure you're ready for this? I'll do my best. Your best? Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and f*** the prom queen. My best? Yeah, do your best. Okay. You're four games in. Quarter of the season's done. Not much, if anything, is going to change. This is the scheme he runs. He runs at bend or don't break stuff, and he, he hopes it's going to work. And when it doesn't work, you saw what happened. I'm not even talking about Mike McDaniel on the offensive side. You saw the defense. They couldn't stop the run. Josh Allen destroyed him. But you know what? Everybody will forget it and be happy. Everyone, for the next two weeks, everyone will be happy because we're back to playing cupcakes you're playing a Giants team that's one and three and then you got the Carolina Panthers that are oh and four so you got a you got a collective one and seven where you can stomp the yard and put up 45 points per game again and everybody will forget what has happened against Buffalo 
everyone will start talking about MVPs and championships all over again because you get to stomp on the shitty teams. And that's what's going to happen. Mark my words. The Dolphins are probably going to just whoop the crap out of the Giants, after, especially after seeing what the Seahawks did. They're going to probably whoop the crap out of Bryce Young and the Panthers. I mean, they're 0-4 and they got a rookie quarterback. I would hope so. And everyone that you see on Twitter and on YouTube is going to be saying they're playing fantastic. This is what we thought we could be. They're right back to where they, what they, everyone knew this team could be. And then you got to play the Philadelphia friggin' Eagles. Hmm. Yeah. So you're going to have two weeks of press clippings. Vic Fangio is going to look like a brainchild out there. And then you got the Philadelphia Eagles for another big test. So you're going to see, you're, you're going to see, they got three weeks to get rid of the, get ready for the Philadelphia Eagles. Three weeks. You can't overlook anybody. You got to show up. The Giants are going to be pissed because of what happened to you last night. But any given Sunday, Bryce Young could get lucky. Who knows? But you got two weeks against two more cupcakes. Make the fan base feel good all over again. Make yourself feel good all over again, Vic Fangio. And then you got the Philadelphia Eagles who have arguably the best offensive line in football. You tell me, I'll look in the comments, you tell me <laughs> how that defensive line of Christian Wilkins and Zach Sealer are going to stop the offensive line of the Philadelphia Eagles. If I were Christian Wilkins and Zach Sealer, I would already be having nightmares. You played against the Buffalo Bills they ran the ball 29 times. I've got these stats in my mind because I did a video on them. They ran the ball 29 times. Zach Sealer had four tackles. Christian Wilkins had two. Out of 29 rushing attempts, the big guys up front had six combined tackles. That's it. That was against the Buffalo Bills. They weren't a Super Bowl team last year. You got the, <laughs> the best offensive line in the, in the league coming up against you in three weeks, and they got that unbelievable tush-push thing that they do on short yardage that uh, it's, it's just going to be frightening. As I've said, the Miami Dolphins seem to have a championship-caliber offense, but unfortunately it's coupled with a mid, a completely mid-defense. I don't even see how this gets better until possibly when Jalen Ramsey returns. Let me know what you think about how Vic Fangio has been running the Miami Dolphins defense and are you going to give him a pass because he keeps saying he doesn't have the personnel to run his scheme. I'm over it. Four games into the season, it is what it is. Do something. Let me know what you think. Fins up. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy?